What is going on, Fight Fans? So the fight is two days away. This fight is huge. Terrence Crawford versus Sean Porter. Well, let's go into predictions. And you know how Boxing Fanatico gives you predictions. I don't do the predictions where I'm sitting on the fence and saying, well, if this guy does what he's supposed to do, he's going to win. And if this guy does what he's supposed to do, he's going to win. I give you actual predictions. Who will win and who will lose? Coming right up. This is Edward, and you're watching Boxing Fanatico. Now, this fight is huge. There's a lot riding on this fight. The magnitude of this fight is enormous because... This fight is going to determine a lot of moving pieces in the welterweight division. It's going to determine, for example, if Sean Porter is an elite fighter because he's always been able to fight the elite fighters but can never get over that hump. It's always a very close fight. For example, Keith Thurman and even Errol Spence Jr. It's always very, very razor thin fight of the year material that normally he doesn't get the nod for but here he has an opportunity to try to do just that but then on the other side we have an incredibly tactical top of the pound for pound type fighter in terence crawford who's going to win this fight and i even want to go into what i think will happen in this fight now, I know that a lot of people, it's really difficult for them to make an observation when they don't have a black and white kind of you know, paper in front of them to tell them, well, this guy will automatically win. For example, many people believe that Terrence Crawford has never fought anybody of the level of Sean Porter. Therefore, they cannot make a decision either way. They'll feel that, how can I say Terrence would win because he's skillful if I haven't seen him fight anybody like Sean Porter? But if you look at boxing in a much more complex and deeper way than just he can beat him because he's beaten other people, where it's almost like you have to be spoon-fed that, that information before you can make a, uh, a strong decision one way or the other, you can look at a fighter's tool set see how many things they can do. For example, Terrence Crawford can switch stance very easily, which is incredibly confusing for someone who's used to somebody being orthodox or somebody training for South Park. It's really difficult because the entire game changes if somebody is South Park versus somebody being orthodox. So just that element alone Terrence Crawford being such an ambidextrous type fighter in that respect makes him incredibly dangerous for anybody because if you're comfortable with him in Southpaw, he'll switch to Orthodox and vice versa. Terrence Crawford's ability to create leverage in tight spaces is another tool that he has in his tool belt. So when you understand that how deep their tool belt is or how deep their their toolbox is you can discern who can beat who based on those assets i believe that terence crawford will win this fight because of how technically sound he is sean porter has some technical abilities but it isn't to the level of terence crawford now although he hasn't fought a sean Porter kind of fighter he has been in those kind of fights where the person is being relentless being put pushing forward and not laying down and giving Terrence Crawford the win Sean Porter doesn't have elite shot placement but he does have elite bulldog forward moving head down kind of style where it he's not afraid to keep bringing the fight to you but because terence crawford is elite at doing things like using tight situations and creating space enough to leverage powerful punches either hand switching on the fly mid combo all of this will be disorienting to sean porter and i'm going down by saying that sean porter will be knocked out by terence crawford now this does not mean that terence crawford is going to utterly just shut out sean porter i think it's going to be a rough and tough kind of dog fight where 
there's a lot of pressure building between the two but terence crawford will will be getting the better of those exchanges of that tight rough and tough fight but he will try to put an exclamation mark because there is frustration there terence crawford feels that he's getting the short end of the stick when it comes to the conversation of him being the best welterweight because he doesn't feel that he can get the fights with an errol spence jr for example and because errol spence jr had trouble with sean porter this is a way to weed out the politics of boxing and just make a statement that cannot be unseen if terence crawford knocks out an unknock outable fighter like sean porter and just makes it make and makes and, and simply makes sure that this is not even a contest between him and sean porter it will send a signal a message that will reverberate through the boxing landscape and show that yeah it looks like terence crawford is actually the guy because errol spence had trouble with Sean Porter. So just that psyche and understanding that dog mentality that Terrence Crawford has and his need and want to prove to the public that he wants that Errol Spence Jr. fight, I think he's going to go for the knockout. And he is one of the best finishers in boxing today. So that is my prediction. Terrence Crawford will knock out Sean Porter in a rough and tough fight where Terrence Crawford will be getting the better of those exchanges between the two. Now, if you think that my prediction is crazy, literally go through my entire six-year history on this channel. I do not think I have not one prediction wrong so far that I've made on this channel. That's right. I think I have a 100%. Nope, I'm sorry. I'm wrong. The Gennady Golovkin versus Canelo Alvarez fight, I predicted that Gennady was going to beat Canelo, um, and in my opinion, he did, but it was scored a draw. That is the only fight that I have technically gotten wrong. But every other prediction in my entire catalog of six years of creating predictions, they have all been correct. And I believe that this will also come to fruition. Remember, it's easy to say this guy's going to beat this guy because I've seen him fight the same type of level fighter and he beat him. It's much harder to look at the technicality and use that eye test in a deeper, more complex way to literally try to foresee what type of fight will unfold. It is the reason why people thought I was crazy when I said Shakur was going to destroy Jamel Herring. Because when I said that, people said, no, Shakur has never fought anybody of that level. And they were right. He never did. But look what happened when he fought him. It's all about understanding the tool set of each individual fighter and what they can bring to the table. And also one more thing, none of my predictions are based on my heart. They're all based on my mind. So if you think that I predict a fighter to beat someone is indicative of me liking that fighter over someone, you are 100% wrong. I do not take any sides in boxing at all. I do have a bias. I appreciate and like more technical fighters than just power punch fighters, but that does not change the fact that I still always make predictions based off of what I see both fighters will be bringing to the table. Let me know what you think about that prediction. Do you think Terrence Crawford is going to win this fight? Do you think he's going to win it by knockout? Or do you think Sean Porter is going to upset Terrence Crawford? And of course, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.